All right, let's see what's good. I'm gonna run ads here. Tell me when the ads are over. And we'll roll from there. Oh yeah, we're gonna get jellyfish today. Jellyfishing, jellyfishing, jellyfishing. Look at the Pacific Coast, man. Look at that color gradient. I'm telling you, man. Everybody should cruise up Pacific Coast Highway once. Do it at dusk like that. It is damn amazing, yeah. Yep. I tooled up Pacific Coast Highway with my wife in the 97, dude. It was in the in a 97 F250. It was it was awesome. Freaking awesome, dude. Where are they launching from? Day just, two, locked load complete. Just Jesus, this is going out of Vandenberg Space Force Base. This is Slick 4 East. Strong back is retracted. T minus 90 seconds. Ground gas closeout. Ground gas closeout. Propellants are being evacuated out of the launch structure. You don't want those to catch on fire during the launch. You re really only want the rocket. 10 seconds, we should hear the go, first sequence start. Talking nine is in startup. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Arsenal, they're pretty awesome. 50 seconds. Right now, Falcon nine is going through uh, checks. LD is go for launch. And parameters, that was quick. Launch director. Reports go for launch. This is this one is going to land on a drone ship. T minus thirty seconds. Of course, I still love you. <clears throat> this is booster one zero seven five. Fifty day turnaround. It's tenth flight. Twenty seconds. T minus fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine. Eight, seven. Sound suppression six, system is primed. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9. Go Starlink. Go SpaceX. And lift off Starlink 716 out of Vandenberg Space Force Base on this late Deep Monday afternoon. Range. Engine chamber pressure is nominal. Vehicles should. Enter a pitch over now. Everything looks good there. T plus 30 seconds. 500 kilometers an hour at 2.5 kilometers off the deck. Stand by for the call for power and telemetry. Power and telemetry are nominal. Good. Guidance looks clean. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Vehicle is past the sound barrier. T plus 57 seconds. Stand by for the call for maximum dynamic pressure. Peak structural load on the vehicle due to aerodynamic Max forces. Q. There it is at T plus 108. Time, 1 minute 15. Falcon 9 traveling at 1,900 kilometers an hour, 15 kilometers off the deck. Ninety seconds in. Next step and here is <laughs> Merlin vacuum chill. <clears throat> this is when they're priming the second stage engine, which will separate here in about forty-five seconds. Uh, it will separate, and they're priming it with the cryogenic propellants to make sure that you don't create a hard start scenario, and uh, making sure the engine is at the ideal operating temperature before you fire it. <clears throat> T plus two minutes. Falcon 9 now traveling 5,000 kilometers an hour at 39 kilometers in altitude. 
Beautiful sunset out over the California coast there on the background. Okay, vehicle is pitching over to a line falcon with uh, the prograde velocity vector. Those were actual words, believe me. Stand by for Miko. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Clean separation between first and second stage. Upper stage ignition looks good. Head back ignition. Okay. We got a good separation. T plus two minutes, 50 seconds. First stage telemetry indicating 7,700 kilometers an hour at 82 kilometers and climbing. Second stage, <clears throat> 8,200 kilometers an hour, 88 kilometers in altitude. We're just past three minutes here. Should be coming up on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. Didn't get a visual there, but uh, we did hear it over the uh, over the comms. You're waiting for hot staging. Nice. Nice. A lot of outgassing going on from Falcon Nine. Maybe carrying some star shields. Yeah, maybe, Phil. There's only, uh, there's 22 payloads. This isn't a 23, so who knows? We didn't see any pictures of the satellites, and it is out of Vandenberg, so. Okay, four minutes into the flight. First stage now, 7,185 kilometers an hour at 113 kilometers. Second stage, crossing the 10,000 kilometer mark here at 129 kilometers and accelerating. About half of the way, halfway there. No prayers. Shh. What are star shields? Military grade Starlink satellites. Yep, yeah, Falcon 9's moving south, southbound out of Vandenberg, uh, running parallel to the Baja Peninsula in, in uh, Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. T plus four minute, 40 seconds. Falcon 9 first stage, 7,200 kilometers, and now accelerating, indicating it's past its ballistic arc, past apogee. 109 kilometers in altitude on the first stage. Second stage is at 11,300 kilometers an hour at 144 kilometers in altitude. Second stage engine still Vehicles looks good. Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Good report from the guidance uh, engineer here that both vehicles are on good paths. AP seemed a little bit higher that time, higher. T plus five minutes and 20 seconds here. First stage, 7,450 kilometers an hour at 95 kilometers. Second, second stage is 12,500 at 150 kilometers up. Coming up on the supersonic retro propulsion. Best part of my day. Stage one is landing on a drone ship here. This is the best part. Falcon 9 will perform an entry burn here where its engines will push away the plasma that would accrue here from the first stage re-entering from such a high ballistic suborbital arc. Well, suborbital arc, not ballistic. It's guided. Stage one entry burn startup. Here's the entry burn at T plus six minutes, five seconds. First stage now decelerating, 76, 75, 7,400 at 56 kilometers. Second stage crossing 15,000 kilometers an hour at 152 kilometer altitude. Entry burn looks real good. My favorite part. Stage one entry burn shutdown. <clears throat> okay. You see it, Chad? That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Like San, San Diego, you'd be able to. You'd be able to see it. Absolutely. Okay, get some. Getting some plasma stage accumulation. One FDS has safe. Flight termination on this first stage is safe. Saw some plasma accumulation on the grid fins, and then the signals cut. They do have reacquisition. The vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Guidance calls good. Uh, good on both. 
We got first stage feedback. First stage 30, 3,000 kilometers an hour and decelerating at 12 kilometers. Second stage is 18,700 and accelerating at 147 kilometers. The second stage actually fell a little bit. The second stage was at 149 stage kilometers. Two, FTS has ceased. Flight termination system on the second stage, stage is safe. Falcon 9 is now uh, subsonic. And it's Apache signal. The telemetry is, uh, is taking a second to update here, but we do got a good live shot here. You can see the drone ship under the left grid fin, that light right there. A little bit cloudy out on the Pacific tonight. Stage one, landing burn. Landing burn on stage one has begun. Good light on the engine. Stage two, internal guidance. T plus eight minutes. First stage is now 500 kilometers an hour, less than a kilometer off the surface. Second stage, 23,300 kilometers an hour at 140 kilometer altitude. First stage coming down, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Good landing on 1075. Completed 10th flight. A little bit of flames coming off the engines. Purged out by the engine purging systems. Stand by for the call for second stage engine cutoff. Looking for a nominal orbit insertion call. There it was. And they cut the cast before a call for nominal orbit insertion. But that was Starlink 7-16. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a good launch. Everything looked real good there. We didn't see any pictures. So some things that I noticed there about that mission. We didn't see any pictures of the fairing separation. We didn't see any pictures of the satellites. Second part of that. They lobbed the second stage. The second stage flew on a low energy insertion, which is very, very weird. That, I haven't seen that before. But then again, I don't keep track of this as much as some other, uh, other people. So what's a low energy insertion with a second stage? So um, low energy insertion is when the first stage puts the second stage on an arc and the second stage fires its engine and it kind of goes up and it falls down a little bit. Like, it, it goes past its ballistic, or not ballistic, it goes past its apogee or the highest point, and then it's kind of like burning like this, like pitched up, almost, <clears throat> and then it circularizes. Uh, the circularization in second stage engine cutoff speed was fine for an orbit, but I did notice that the first stage apogee got up to 149 kilometers, and it circularized at 140-something or other. Uh, it was not 149, so they, it was a low energy insertion, indicating. <clears throat> so why would you do that? Uh, you would you do a low energy, kind of insertion like that with. Uh, um, it depends on really where the satellites are going. Depends on the type of orbit. Definitely sounds like some star shield action. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Those satellites m may have been heavier. Uh, because that was a, that was a screwy trajectory. Yeah, that thing you do in KSP when you miss orbit a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, so, some of you guys do it on purpose. Some people don't, but they did lob it. I've never seen them lob a second stage like that before. But then again, like I said, I don't keep as good a track as most people. Stepped outside and saw it with the family. That's cool, you. Got a picture, picture later from Santa Monica. The contrast looked awesome. The sunshine, but the jellyfish was already passed and not that great of a picture. Hmm. Saw it from your front front porch in Phoenix. Nice. Phonix. <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix. Sorry, I, I know how to say it. I don't remember seeing the second stage go into the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it went down a little bit and then went up. Interesting. Low energy, lower energy insertion, I should say. But uh, yeah. There you go. Starlink 7-16. Pretty freaking good, man. Pretty good. That was pretty cool. So yeah, let's see. What's the next what's the next one? I think we have a uh We have Electron Live and Let Fly, the L123 payload, Thursday at 240 AM. 240 AM. And then we have Falcon 9 
Uh, CRS-30, 30th SpaceX resupply mission, launching on the 21st on Thursday at 4.55 p.m. Eastern. So that's right during the day. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then uh, we have another Starlink, Starlink 642 on Friday, the 22nd at 7.55 p.m. Eastern daylight time out of 39A. So... A resupply mission is going to go out of 40. That's going to be the f first Dragon 2 resupply mission out of 40, if I'm remembering right. Oh, no. that No, they, they've done that before. They've done that before. Hmm. And then a couple of hours later, 39.8. So we should get... And another launch is happening during NASA Space Flight Live if it sticks. NSF Live on Friday at 7.55. We got another Starlink. That's awesome. That Dragon mission is an LZ-1 landing. Nice. Cool. Electron on Thursday. Yeah. The Electron launch is... Live and Let Fly L-129. It's going out of Wallops. Yeah. That's, at L that's, that's going out of Virginia. That's cool, man. A lot of missions this week. Good, good. I mean, I don't think it comes close to what we saw last week. But, uh, yeah, not, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Anyway, guys, let's see if we can see if we can drop a raid on here. And uh, I'm going to head out for the night. That's a good solid 11 hours of stream. Good way to start. Good way to start the week. Monday, we've got 11 hours. Right off the bat. Very good. Hmm. Night, everybody. You take care? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Leaving face the wall, please. All right, fine, fine. We won't raid. I'll just go. Jeez. All right, see you later. See you guys tomorrow. Noontime. Be there or be circular. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thank you. <laughs>